Hello everyone. If you're new to my videos, then welcome. Uh, if you'd like to support me and this channel, make sure to click like and subscribe below. My name's Adam Hawthorne, and I'm a freelance saxophonist and woodwind instructor in the greater Chicagoland area. Today, we'll be talking about saxophone embouchure and the role that it plays in saxophone playing. We'll discuss the saxophone embouchure checklist that I use with my students, as well as a couple different exercises you can use to strengthen your embouchure as well. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the word embouchure, we can define it as the formation of the lips and muscles around the mouthpiece. Now, when teaching a student to make their embouchure for the first time, I always have them start on just their mouthpiece and neck. First, I'll have the students create a cushion with their bottom lip. I usually tell my students to roll their lip over their bottom teeth enough so that there's a cushion, but not so much that all of the muscles uh, in your lower lip and jaw area are lost. Once their cushion is formed, rest the reed side of the mouthpiece on the cushion lightly. From here, I also have my students put two fingers on their chin to make sure that their chin is flat and pointed down. Next, I'll have my students put their top teeth on top of the mouthpiece. I'll usually have my students raise up their top lip to show me that their teeth are making contact with the mouthpiece, as it's very easy to just let your top teeth sort of hover above the mouthpiece when you make your embouchure. Finally, I'll have students bring in the corners of their mouth to create a seal so that air doesn't escape out the corners or anywhere else of their embouchure and just goes into the mouthpiece. You'd be surprised how common it is for lips to not fully seal and to allow air to escape out the corners. We don't want that. Once the seal is created, then comes the sound. From here, some students will have a picture-perfect embouchure while some others will still need a little bit of refinement. A simple trick that I like to use is the analogy of uh, drinking a very thick milkshake through a straw. This often will help my students understand the feeling of how firm the muscles and lips should be around the mouthpiece. Now, if your embouchure doesn't look exactly like mine or your stand partner, that's okay. We all have different lip, jaw, chin, and face shapes. Just make sure to go through the following checklist when forming your embouchure. Number one, is your bottom lip forming a cushion over your bottom teeth? Number two, are your top teeth touching the top of the mouthpiece? Number three, are your corners in forming your seal? And number four, is your chin flat and pointed down? To continually check on this, I recommend spending at least a little bit of time each day practicing in front of a mirror. Now, if you're currently working on changing or rebuilding your embouchure, or you're just out of shape, here are a couple different exercises that I like to use in my own playing. Again, I would recommend practicing these in front of a mirror. First, practicing with a double lip embouchure. In this exercise, roll your top lip over your top teeth, similar to your bottom lip. You can practice this while playing slow scales or long tones. This will help engage your top lip once you put your top teeth back on the mouthpiece. Also, practicing with no top lip. In this exercise, you'll lift your top lip off of the mouthpiece while keeping your teeth secured on the top of the mouthpiece. Again, you can practice long tones or slow scales while doing this. This will help engage the corners of your embouchure and can also help with leaking when you go back to playing normally. Now, as someone who's gotten way too deep in the weeds about this topic before, I like to keep my discussions around embouchure pretty simple. Is your embouchure keeping you from doing something? Then go through the embouchure checklist from earlier in this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, make sure to support the channel by clicking like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.